Hi, my name is Joshua Simmons, and my capstone project is on playing the bass guitar. Um, I was self-taught. Um, I guess I have my dad. He plays uh, the cut the guitar. He's been playing for many years, but no one he's never played the bass guitar before. And uh, this is the first time I've ever picked up a guitar. The only musical experience I have in the, from the past is playing the alto saxophone or the PCS jazz man. So I am uh, musically inclined when it comes to learning now, but uh, you know I've never touched a guitar before, so this was my first time. Um, so the first thing I had to do was get a bass guitar. Um, didn't get one until my birthday just this year. Uh, so I got it and then uh, you know, learned some fingering, some scales, you know, the simple stuff. But I didn't have any songs to play. So I ended up uh, buying a subscription to a site that gives me lots of songs and lots of sheet music to look at. And um, my learning process sped up immensely from there. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do before then, but thank you to MuseScore. Uh, really saved me there. Um, now that I have everything I needed, uh, started practicing the songs. Uh, I recorded a few songs, not all the songs that I was playing, but the few songs should provide more than enough uh, evidence of my learning, for sure. Quick note, if I sound a little strange, it's because I just came off of a weekend of being sick. Uh, I lost my voice for the whole weekend. So if I sound a little strange, that is why. I learned a lot about myself uh, while playing the bass. Uh, a couple things are that uh, I figured out that I have a varying taste in, of music. It's not just one thing. I'm not. I'm not like a one genre guy. Uh, I, I like many things now. Uh, I learned that achieving goals through hard work feels really good, and I've done that before. But for whatever reason, it feels really nice to do it. Uh, musically. Don't know why, but it's just how it is. Uh, but something that the most important thing that I learned about myself is that I want to keep playing music, not just for myself, not just listening to music for myself, but I want to play with others as well, whether it be, you know, a small meetup with some friends one night, or maybe I play in an actual band, uh, but that's a decision for another day. Uh, if there's one hope I have for the future with um, me and my bass, it's just that whoever hears me playing, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't ruin the day and ho hopefully it makes it brighter, actually. Uh, that's what I want to hope. Uh, quick thanks to my dad, who's my mentor, uh, Matthew Simmons. Uh, whatever questions I have for him, he was able to answer. He helped me a lot. Um, but now, it's, now that's all, all out of the way, I think we just get onto the plane now. This song is Feel Good Inc. by The Gorillas. As you can tell, it's a very easy line to learn. Very simple, uh, it's catchy, not much to it, and that's, and that's how it goes for most of the song. I'm missing a little bit, but that's my very first bass line that I've ever learned. So let's take a look at what I can do now. As you can tell, it is a much harder song. The tempo is way faster, the notes I have to play happen way more frequently. Um, the fingering isn't as hard, the frets are like the same two notes basically the whole time, but uh, it's way too fast uh, for a beginner me to do. So let's take a look at the steps that I took to get there.
you would absolutely be fooling yourself if you said that you weren't cringing right now. This song is an easy bass line. This is not hard. But, as you can tell, I don't know the song at all. I don't press the frets right. The, the strings are buzzing and it doesn't sound good at all. But thankfully, I get better. Let's take a look at the next clip, which was the very same day. And with just one hour's worth of practice, I know this song a lot better. I'm pressing the frets properly. There's no buzzing. I'm not wondering what I'm supposed to do. I think I actually have the song memorized, but I'm just a little nervous because I'm recording. Now let's see, with many more hours of practice, how I can do with this song. This is surely my magnum opus thus far. Uh, I am absolutely certain Mozart would applaud if he heard this before he died. Um, this is Snowman from Earthbound, and that is what it's supposed to sound like. You know, I there was no buzzing, no mistakes. That was a perfect rendition. All right, now let's move on to the fast song. As you can tell, this is not the pace that you saw earlier. That's because when I first started playing this song, I couldn't keep up with its pace. It was just too fast. This is 50% of the speed that it was going before, so that I could keep up and actually learn them how to play the notes. Turns out actually playing the notes at half speed is really easy. 
there's not a lot of different notes to play with this song. It's fairly simple. Um, so it's pretty easy to learn at the beginning. This is the second half of the song. Uh, this is the only time it really changes uh, bass lines. So before it was simple, and now it's, it seems a little harder, but the challenge between uh, pressing frets on different strings and knowing what strings to play is a little difficult at the beginning. But uh, after probably only 30 minutes of practice, once you get down, it's, it's really fun to play and it's really easy. But once again, we still, this is 50%, so let's get to the, to the normal pace. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this pace. The notes are very muddy because as I'm playing, I'm trying to keep up with the song, so my fingers are flying across the guitar and I'm accidentally, accidentally hitting other strings. Um, it just doesn't sound very good. Even, even though it's an easy fingerings, I'm still struggling to play them. But let's look at the next part of the song. The notes in this section of the song are slower, so I don't have to play as fast, but it's still tough for me. It, the sound is still muddy because I'm still hitting other strings that I'm not supposed to be playing, but that's alright. Let's, let's uh, see what it's like when I have more hours to practice with this song.
it is a lot better. This is a recent uh, recording of me playing Lair Cake from Persona 5. Uh, you know, it doesn't. it's not as mighty. It's not perfect, by all means, but it is sounding a lot better. I'm playing with the song as opposed to catching up with it. Uh, the notes aren't nearly as muddy, and it sounds way better. Unfortunately, I'm going to cut it short here. Uh, this is all the time I have for this video. Uh, just a quick thank you to my father, Matthew Simmons, for helping me, uh, answering my questions, and giving me tips to play better as a bass guitarist. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.